Hey everyone, in this video we will learn how to set up multiple uh, levels of column headers for a matrix visual in Power BI. So let's start and I'll explain as I go along. So I've got this file I'll be using for the tutorial. I've also uploaded this file to GitHub. I'll leave a link to the file uh, in the GitHub repository in the video notes so you can download the file and do the tutorial along with me. So uh, this is uh, on the matrix visual and creating multiple levels. So let's just, I'll select matrix and I'll put it into focus mode. And now what I will do is, I'm going to go to dim date and I'm going to select my, uh, the date key, full date alternate key and I'll put it into columns. So because I want the date hierarchy, I'm going to grab this and put it into the columns and not on. So it's just giving me the years, which is the highest level. And then I'll go to the product and I'll get the product name and I'll put it into the rows. And it's give, so now all I've got is it's giving me the product name and I've, it's giving me the years. And now I'll just get the sales amount. And I'll put it into the values. So what's happened here is it's giving me uh, the sale for any product by year. But what if I want to have the month name as well in here? How do I do that? So I'll click on this or let's, you could do either ways. I'm going to click on this and this should also work. So it's showing me 2011 quarter, but I'm after months. So I can go down one more level. Or So this is now giving me three levels, but what I want is that the 2011 and quarter one to be centered. So I'll go to the formatting tab and I'll go to column headers and I'll change the formatting. So I'll change the alignment to uh, center. And you can see that it is giving me 2011 and then it's giving me the quarter and then it's centering the whole thing. And let me keep going further as I get more data. I just want to use more data as an example. So you can see it is showing me and I can disable the totals here. So I'll go to the subtotals and disable them. Not the row level, but the column level. So you can see that everything is centered and then I have uh, multiple levels of headers in this matrix visual. I'll also go al along and format this a bit so it looks slightly better for me. So I'll go back to column headers. I'll change the font color to white and the background to back, black. And this looks really good. So I've got multi -level, multiple levels of the headers and then I've got the amounts. So in this video, just to recap, we learned how to set up multiple uh, headers for a matrix visual or how to set up double heading for a matrix visual in Power BI. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers, bye.